Today, I want to talk to you about, um, uh, I actually had to decline, uh, not decline, but rather um, made a decision to not proceed uh, to do a short sale. Uh, in my last episode, I talked about FHA mortgage. So I had two uh, homeowners that called me. Um, uh, the first one, she bought this house, um, got into a bad situation, and she had to move out. Uh, and she had to rent out the property. Uh, and once I got authorization to speak to the bank on her behalf, found out that it was an FHA mortgage. And so if you listen to my last episode, I talked about one of the requirements. If the property's been rented out for more than 18 months, then um, you can't automatically you can't qualify. So after I found out that uh, it was an FHA mortgage, I called the homeowner um, and found out that the property uh, has been rented out for more than 18 months. And so what we uh, proceeded to do was to see whether we can purchase the property um, with the outstanding loan balance. And so went out to the property, uh, analyzed the property. The outstanding balance on, on the property was approximately, uh, I believe it was 230. But when we went out there, um, we found out that, you know, as an investor, I, couldn't, I can't purchase that property uh, for uh, 230. Just didn't make sense uh, financially. Um, and so what I did was uh, reached out to a, a, a local agent that we, uh, we know and found out that the property, uh, even if we sold it at 200,000 retail, um, can't sell it for 200,000. It would be a waste of time for the uh, the agent to even consider um, uh, putting it on the market to try to sell it because at the end of the day it'll still be uh, the property will still be underwater and so uh, we decided that we can't do anything and uh, you know as much as we want to help we can't do anything in that situation all right um, the second situation was uh, an another FHA mortgage uh, I didn't realize that it was a FHA so but on all of my short sales that I do, I, uh, it's mandatory that I run a title search. So as soon as I found out that if it's an FHA mortgage, I have to go look through the, her, uh, the homeowner's financial documents. And so I found out, looking at the, uh, the tax return, I see that the property has rental income. All right, so I see it automatically that it has rental income. I see that the homeowner's property address on her tax return as well as her uh, as well as the uh, homeowner's uh, bank statement is a prop is a is an address that is not the same as the property address and so obviously um, by <laughs> deduction I uh, you know knew that the property has been rented out and uh, so uh, I looked at the time frame the tax return for 2016 and so uh, we are now in 2018, so we're looking at at least 12 months uh, or plus. And so what I did was I called the homeowner and found out that indeed the property has been rented out for uh, more than 18 months. And so uh, I decided I'm not going to pursue it um, and uh, respectfully declined and said, you know, I can't help you. And so we had to move on. All right. I hope this uh, session is uh, good. The only way that I know that um, you like it is by subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel. All right. Uh, until next week. Bye now.